cut. Let me make sure. My, I hope this is in focus. Yeah, you're in focus. One of us is in focus. Sorry. <laughs> you said one. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, what am I gonna do? So what am I gonna do? Um, so I said, like, <laughs> it had to be today. All right. Fine. Yeah, Thank next you. time I don't even. There'll be extras. <laughs> when should I be the extra? I don't know when. I was kind of joking. It doesn't even really no. matter. I'm screaming. <laughs> yeah. No, because well, you're gonna eventually. <laughs> Let right, me know. right. But anyway, go ahead, do your thing, You can be the star when we do the interview. Right. You don't need to be an extra for that. All right, let me see. We still rolling? Okay, that's good. What was I even at? What was I saying? Okay. Let me see if there's anything special I gotta say in the outro. You guys wanna say anything? I Bye, y'all. Now let me say <laughs> All right. Follow me. One more time. <laughs> All right. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Chuku Non So Captress, aka Mazi. Chakum, chakum, aka the photo cosmetic surgeon. Back in, not photo lab this time, we're at the Sussex County Sunflower Field. Shout out to all my clients out there. You are appreciated. Special thanks to all the models and muses. We got two right here. You guys keep me inspired. One love to all my supporters on social media. You keep me going. All right, so today we're gonna talk about double exposure, right? So double exposure is kind of just like its name. So um, you take two exposures, two pictures, right? One usually of a model's face and then another one of a landscape. It could be mountains, trees, a forest, anything like that. In this case, it's gonna be sunflowers, okay? So right here, I have Lauren and I have Tanaya. And so uh, I'm going to link their Instagrams in the description box below, below. So check them out. They do great modeling work. And um, so I'm going to take two pictures, all right? So first picture is going to be of the model's faces, right? Just close-ups of their faces, okay? And then the next picture is going to be of the sunflowers themselves. And I'm going to merge the two in Photoshop, okay? I'm probably going to split this into two different videos, all right? Okay. So I'm just trying to get some good <clears throat> variety in the pictures of the sunflowers. You know what I'm saying? Enough to kind of fill out the model's face, add enough variety so you can really see um, a lot of like the landscape come in to the, uh, the model's face. And all right, so we just finished taking all the pictures and we are going to hop onto my laptop and I'm gonna show you how we edit these shots, all right? Let's go do some double exposure. All right, follow me. All right, so welcome to my laptop screen. Uh, so if you're new here, welcome. Uh, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button or that follow button wherever you're watching me. Um, and also hit the like button as well too. Do me a favor, please do that because whenever you do that, you'll be helping me out. And you'll also be helping yourself out because you're telling whatever platform that you're using um, that you want to see more of this content and less of the stuff that you don't want to see. All right. so. Back to the tutorial, this is a picture of Lauren. She did a great job, very nice pose here. So I took this picture of Lauren and um, we're gonna talk about double exposure and how you set that up in Photoshop. So this is a picture of Lauren and I'm gonna hide it just like I did here. And this is the sunflower. These are the sunflowers in the background, right? So this is basically the, um, the other picture of nature that I'm going to be double exposing um just to basically do a nice little creative effect all right close this down a little bit and so let's do a little bit of planning first so you see this picture here you know what i'm saying it's like a nice sunflower landscape going on 
And then there's also this sunflower right here, which I think is nice. I think we can kind of do something. We can use this um, in our, basically like the, uh, the artistic vision for what we want to do here, what we got going on, right? So we got this sunflower here um, off in the corner. And if I look at this picture of Lauren, right? Um, I think I want the sunflower to be here, here. You know what I'm saying? Here, over here, um, near her hair. And the only thing is gonna is gonna kind of make it a little bit unbalanced because it's gonna be one here, and I'd kind of like a little bit of symmetry. Um, and for there to be one over here. So let me see if I can show you what I mean. So this picture of Lauren right here. This isn't part of the this is not part of the tutorial. This is just me kind of showing you um, temporarily how to kind of set this up for what my vision is. Um, so I'm going to come over here with the opacity and what that's going to do is like this, that's going to make this this top layer of Lauren uh, Imagine us looking top down, right? So this is like imagine um, You got two like actual printout photographs You got a picture of Lauren here on the top and then underneath that picture you got the sunflowers So this opacity means how clear or how uh, Not clear basically how solid the top picture is since it's selected I'm gonna turn this down to like 50%. All right, oops, uh, too much. 50%, and as you can see, um, we got Lauren here, and we got the sunflower here, and it's like, you know, over here, like on one part of hair, one um, part of her hair, okay, see what I'm saying? I want another one to be over here, so what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to, Go ahead, well, you know what, let me make this go all the way back to 100. I'm gonna hide this for a second. Go back to the sunflower face. I'm gonna duplicate this sunflower and then flip it horizontally so that there's a, uh, it's gonna be the same picture, but now the sunflower is gonna be over here, right? So I'm gonna do a little click here. I'm gonna drag it down to the plus. It's gonna make a copy, see that? And what I'm gonna do over at this copy, I'm gonna go up to uh, edit, transform and flip horizontally see that so this is the copy over here flip horizontally see what i'm saying uh, i'm just going to drag this to the bottom right and so now i believe we can pretty much start all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to merge you know this picture um kind of blend it blend all three of them you get what i'm saying so first thing i'm going to do when it comes to double exposure, it's good for your top picture to be a little bit faded. Um, that way the colors in the top picture don't really interfere with the colors in the background underneath. You know, you kind of want the background picture, the nature and stuff to influence the picture. That way it looks just more interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here with the adjustment layers. I'm going to do a black and white adjustment layer, right? And I only want it to affect the layer immediately below it. I don't want all of these um, to be affected, like you see. All, like, these, this sunflower is showing up black and white, right? Even though it's, you know, originally in color. And Laura is also black and white. And even this one would be black and white as well, too. Uh, I'll just show you that real quick, obviously. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to right click on this black and white layer and I'm going to create a clipping mask, which means it's only going to affect the layer right below it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so if I were to hide Lauren really quick, as you can see, these remain in color. You know what I'm saying? So I just want Lauren to be in black and white, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to essentially um, create uh, a layer mask on Lauren's face and also this sunflower layer here to kind of conceal and reveal a few things to get the blended picture, right? So um, first what we're gonna do is, so this black and white layer, I don't want it to be completely black and white. So I'm gonna come over here with the opacity. I'm gonna make it maybe a little bit less than 50%. So I want some color but not too, too much. Okay, I think that's okay for now. 42, we can make it go back up or down if we want to. Now, 
this picture of Laura, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come over here, hit the, the layer mask, and it's gonna put a layer mask on this. And the reason for this, purpose of this layer mask is to hide part of the picture of Lauren so that I can see this underneath it. You get what I'm saying? This sunflower layer underneath it. I'm gonna come over here and I'm also gonna put a layer mask on this one because what I wanna do is I just want to, um, okay, so you see here that this uh, sunflower over here that I wanted to show up. The reason why I'm putting a layer mask here on this layer so that I can kind of almost kind of punch a hole through this picture so that here this part will be showing okay so that's what i'm going to do this one's going to be used to kind of uh display some of the sunflowers and this one is primarily going to be used just so i can get this you get what i'm saying so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to um let me see if i can make this a little bigger a little bit out the way so i'm going to start painting on this layer mask right and the layer mask is completely white and i have uh black selected here um as my foreground color right and i'm going to so my opacity and my flow are already pretty low this is kind of a good number i don't want it to be too high the softness of the brush, let's make it really soft. That way this looks a little bit more natural and smooth and make the brush get a little bit smaller. What I'm going to do is just gently start brushing away at Lauren's face here, right? To reveal some of the sunflower. Okay, so I did a little bit of brushing and it's doing a little bit too much. It's going, going a little bit too fast. So I'm going to come up to the history tool. I'm going to go back. This is kind of like hitting undo. Um, there we go. So I just, I just went back to the history state where I added the layer mask and, you know, the brush tools um, for showing. So I'm going to make the opacity go down a little bit more, the flow go down a little bit more. And now I'm going to start brushing. I want to be a little bit more careful. I want to have more control. So now I'm going to start brushing blacks to hide, basically kind of almost um, wear away holes to show the layer underneath. And what I'm doing is I'm, I want the, the picture to kind of, I want you to still kind of be able to see the definition in Lauren's face. So I'm kind of like, uh, I'm avoiding, um, you know, parts of like, you know, our facial anatomy, like this, um, this kind of like this facial muscle, like this cheek muscle here, and the sides, you know, of her face. That way you can, you know, see that it's really still her. You get what I'm saying? Um, so I want to leave some actual features and some definition. And, uh, you know, just kind of make it work like that. Get the eyes. Make that look interesting. And so what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm just kind of going around her face, right? And basically trying to color in between the lines. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like around the sides of her face. I'm not. I'm not gonna like hit the like the line of like you know her chin and the sides of her face. But what I'm going to do is just get in between in the middle. That way you can still see that's a, a picture of a person. It doesn't kind of destroy the effect of there being a person, but um, you're still gonna see. Um, sunflower in the detail, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward. All right, we're back, we are back. All right, so as you can see, I was just, um, you know, basically went around here and was 
hiding, you know, pretty much parts of her face and things like that to to um, to reveal the sunflower, this background that was underneath, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that her eyes are balanced. Like I basically I covered in I colored in um, as much um, black on this uh, layer equally on the left and the right side of her eye. You get what I'm saying? Just to just to make sure that it's balanced enough. Just a little bit curious. So as you can see, this layer mask is completely wet except for the black that we colored in. So I'm gonna hold, go ahead and hit Alt on the keyboard or I think Option on Mac and then click on this, so alt click. And then as you can see here, you can see everything that we pretty much colored in here, you know? You kind of see the uh, the form of her face. She has two eyes here, nose, mouth. Here's over where the, uh, the sunflowers that I just revealed. So the eyes are pretty balanced. So I just wanted to double check that. So I just alt click again back on the mask to make it go back to normal, right? And so we are nearing almost kind of um, uh, the end of just everything or most of what we can do for this uh, this top picture for here, for this top mask. Now it's time to kind of worry about the bottom mask, right? And as I said before, the major reason for this is so that I can kind of punch a hole through this that I can get to this sunflower here so that I can get um, another sunflower over to the right. So I'm going to come down to this layer mask. I'm always painting on the layer mask, not destructively painting blacks, obviously, onto, um, I'm not going to destructively paint the color black onto, you know, her face or anything like that. I'm only painting on the mask. So I'm going to paint on this mask, right? And what I want to do is kind of punch a hole through here, which is in the same position as this sunflower over here, so that I can see through, right? So I can see through this and see this sunflower and then i'm also going to punch the same hole through here to see down through here and then also down through here if that makes sense so um what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my brush it's already selected and i kind of want to do this kind of fast i don't want to be you know brushing forever so i'm going to set the brush pretty strong maybe like uh maybe closer to 50. Anyway, yeah, 55, That's I think that's good. So I'm gonna come down here on this layer mask. I'm gonna kind of punch a hole through this and around the same position that I think it would be. So I'm gonna get one of those. And you can see the, the it's forming here, right? The, the layer, uh, I'm sorry, the, uh, the the brush head, it's, it's forming here. I'm not going to be able to fully see it, obviously, because this is covering it. The white is um, basically allowing this picture of Lauren to show. So all I got to do is come back up here and then punch a hole through this, which will then let, allow me to see through this and then to see here, which is this, right? So there we go. So the sunflower is coming out a little bit more. So this is kind of like a two step process. You can see it's not the full sunflower, but um, I'm going to, and I'm kind of doing a little bit too much. Uh, I'm showing way too much of the sunflower. Uh, the sunflower is way more visible over here than it is over here. But what I want to do is make sure that I get all of the petals, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and conceal it a little bit. Um, I'm going to put white back on the foreground and turn this down a little bit, the opacity and the flow, and then kind of like, you know, just gently hide a little bit more. So it looks like, you know, her hair is still obscuring some of the sunflower, kind of like how it is over here, how you can kind of barely see it. Get what I'm saying? So all I want to do is reveal enough of the petals so that they're all revealed and then kind of cover more of the petals with her hair. So I'm just kind of going back and forth, concealing and revealing on this layer to get what I want. So conceal and reveal. White uh, kind of like reveals or re retains what's on the current layer and black kind of hides it, all right? So I'm going to go back into fast forward mode and just kind of um, 
Let's clean up the rest of this and then uh, we'll see what the result looks, back, looks like. I'll be right back. Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, pictures coming together now. As you can see, we got both sunflowers here, just, um, you know, just kind of like barely visible, you know, kind of there, kind of not there. Um, but yeah, this pretty much works for the look that I was going for. I was just making a few finishing touches. But um, the other thing we can do here is you can come back to this black and white layer, right? And we can just adjust the opacity a little bit of the uh basically how faded out the color and you know the, the lauren layer that lauren's face is and just see what that looks like like if i go all the way to the end it's just basically all sunflower uh nature you know green and yellow some people like might like that effect if i go all the way to the end i've taken the taken it all away um the black and white effect of it i've taken it all away and it's not quite you know it doesn't, I don't know, to me it doesn't quite look as interesting. So I think somewhere in the middle, maybe not 51, but maybe the other way. So I'm just kind of, um, this is interesting. You know, I might make a few different versions of this to be quite honest with you and post a few of them. You guys let me know if you see it on social media, which one you like. Now I'm going to take this one that's like, right there 58 no second 52 now looks pretty good um you know, i think i might want a little bit more color um, direction okay that's good that's perfect um and yeah i mean this is pretty much it's a pretty this is a pretty simple double exposure um edit you know what i'm saying i kind of made all of the uh the background i kind of made the background look as subtle as possible but let's see if we can do one more thing let me come here and we're going to do a where is the color balance we're going to do a color balance layer and what this does is it kind of like it kind of um adjusts all the overall colors in the picture to kind of um, make it look like they're all really supposed to be in harmony and kind of like work together. It kind of like, you know, it takes all of a certain color, like, you know, reds or yellow, okay, like, you know, like the reds or the cyans and it kind of um, affects multiple different colors at once so that, you know, um, the picture can just be in more agreement. It looks like everything's supposed to blend together the way it's supposed to. So I'm just gonna move these slider bars left and right to get to a point where I think it looks okay. And it just kind of, you know, affects the overall mood of the picture itself. It tints everything just right to get everything on the same frequency to, to make it look like, you know, it's supposed to be that way. You know what I'm saying? So that was the mid-tone that I just, um, effect let's even go to the shadows yeah I can do the same thing that looks pretty nice this is like a nice uh like a copper tone let's do that and yellows and then the highlights, which is the brightest colors. Let's see if we can. Okay, good enough. Now, I think I want to add a little bit more depth to this picture. So another one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come here. I'm going to add another black and white layer. I'm not going to keep it black and white, but I'm just going to change the blend mode from normal to either overlay or soft light. Let's see what overlay looks like. And then turn down the opacity of it. This is just to add a little bit more depth 
to the picture and a little bit more contrast. That's overlay. Let me show you what, that, what that's doing. It's kind of on and off. Just kind of adds more contrast to the picture, just makes it look more rich. Instead of overlay, let's do soft light, see what that looks like. But it both actually look pretty similar at this low opacity. Let me turn up the opacity. Just a touch the opacity. Okay. So the soft light's a little bit lighter. Overlay will work. Let's do soft light. Okay. Um, all right, that's basically it. That does it for the Lauren edit. All right, wasn't that fun? All right, I hope you guys had as much fun watching that video as I had making it. Please like this video, likes are free. If you like the video, hit that like button really hard. If you didn't like it, then just tap it really lightly instead for me, all right? <laughs> so uh, subscribe to this channel because that'll help me out. And it'll also help you out too because the more you tell YouTube uh, or any social media platform what you like, it'll show you more of that, what you wanna see, and less of what you don't wanna see, all right? So thanks a lot, take care, and I will see you in the next video.